Pat Nell and Tri today, and I have three great folks here. They're going to tell us what we can do about running for joy, because that's such, it's such an uplifting event. I want to learn all about it. And our special guest who's never been with us before, but we're glad she's here. Laurie Beardsley is founder of Run for Joy. And she brought along two guys I've never met before. <laughs> David Daggett, Griff Schuler, the Daggett Schuler team from the law firm. Good to see you, everybody. Hey, Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, Lori, let me just start out. We'll get into some specifics later. But what is, what is Run for Joy all about? Why did you start it? Well, we um, started it about three years ago when, um, unfortunately and tragically, my daughter, Caitlin, died by suicide. She was a nurse in the nurse anesthetist program at Wake Forest, and it was during COVID, and um, we didn't know that anything was wrong. And so we decided that we needed to start something along with her classmates and the faculty to do a race because one of the ways that my daughter fought like anxiety and depression was through running. Right. And um, so that is why we started it, um, so we could help other healthcare trainees during a very difficult training set, you know. Yeah. It's very difficult training. Well, I'm so glad you did start this. And David, let me ask you, what, why is the focus on mental health awareness so important these days? Well, the stress and anxiety that young people have, they tend to hide it. And as Lori says uh, over and over, it's okay not to be okay but you have to let people know so that you can, you can surround yourself. Sure. As you know, I have a daughter in graduate school to be a mental health counselor. This is near and dear to our family. And I'm just so proud of the Beardsley family and the medical school environment that has all come together really, get behind in, in it. order to support the awareness of the importance of mental health and particularly for healthcare providers, healthcare students, healthcare trainees. And what a, what a wonderful event. Right, and uh, Lori, I want to mention to the folks at home that some people watch us streaming on WFMY and some people watch us uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. For those that are watching Saturday morning, right now at 7.30, you still got time to come out and support the event. Tell me when it is, exactly where it is, where it's going to be held, and where do the proceeds go? Yes, um, it'll be at 9 a.m. on Saturday, this coming Saturday, October 21st at Jameson Park. Um, we will have a race there. And what we've done with the funds is that we are helping provide some mental health care for some of the health care trainees. Um, because as you know, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes when you're in medicine or in the military. If you are having struggles, sometimes that affects your promotions. It affects how people see you. And sure. so we've provided a way so that um, people can get the care they need without all of that. Yeah, what role are you going to play in this event? I am honored. Uh, this is the third year of the event, and I've emceed the event all three years, and, and I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. I'll, I'll add to what, what Lori said. In addition, just raising the level of awareness of the issue. The first year, they set an optimistic goal. Let's get 300 participants out here had over 600 wow. the, the first year. Wow. And those are 600 people, many of them from the healthcare community, that can help spread the message and awareness that's so important. Absolutely. Griff, why should everybody get behind this? What should the takeaway be? Well, there's really a stigma um, in the world around us about mental health issues. And I think in particular, it's tough for um, folks that are in the healthcare field, particularly trainees, to reach out because they're supposed to be helping other people. Right. And so sometimes it's it's hard to know that you need to help yourself first because you feel like um, you're helping others, helping patients and things. And so I think, you know, kind of breaking through some of that stigma through a cause like this is fantastic. Absolutely. Good point. Now, up on screen, Run for Joy, that's uh, right now, if you're watching Saturday, uh, 9 a.m., Jamison Park, Winston-Salem. If you want to register, you can go just Google Run for Joy 5K, or you can go to Facebook and do the same thing. And if you ever need help from these gentlemen back here, daggettshewerlaw.com is the website, the phone number is 724-1234. We have about two seconds left, Laurie. If I can't be there, is there a virtual thing? Or? There is a virtual run. People can sign up and uh, contribute, and we can put those funds to use for good mental health care awareness. I think that's great. I'm a virtual mm -hmm. host, actually. Oh. I'm, I'm not really here. <laughs> no, th Thank thanks you. for all you're doing. You're and your husband and, and all you. the supporters and doing that. Guys, thanks for supporting thanks for us. Us. And David, you're going to hang around for the roundtable, right? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.